Hey, what's happening, guys? Look what I found in the uh, clearance aisle at the dollar store. It's a flame lamp. It's actually a flame tiki. And uh, it's solar powered. Let me see if I cover that up. It starts working. And it looks like somebody has beat the living hell out of it. But it's neat. So I thought we would have a look at it today. What do you think? Okay, I've removed some of the uh, non-essential plastic parts from this. And let's take a look at it in near darkness here. The effect is actually very nice. I don't know how well... Yeah, I don't... I don't, I, can't, I don't think you can really see it that well from the camera view. Let me put some more light in here. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, I think you can see it better now. You can see we have like a coal down here that's always on. And then we have flames that flicker and move up. So what we've got here basically is three parts. We have... Our solar panel we have a switch and then we have the light itself so I am going to hopefully open this up and we're gonna be able to take a look here looks like it's just clipped so yeah this should be not too hard to open. There we go. Very nice. Take a look at that. This looks remarkably like the ones that Big Clive has shown in the past. Which is basically the only reason I bought this, because uh, I'm a big fan of his. I saw this and I thought, okay. So now if we take a look at this here from this angle and we look down here, we see the bottom row is almost on all the time. Then we see a slower rate from this one or what's called a faster rate of flicker from this one. Faster here, faster here. And then when we get to the top, we can almost count one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So this is about every four cycles here, we get a flash from the top one. And if we can look at the construction of this, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six rows, or I guess that'd be six columns. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rows. So six times nine, I believe that's still 54 in the new math. We've got our microcontroller here. Let me see. I mean, chances are they've removed anything, but I'm going to have a look here. Hold on. Yeah, it, they have completely obliterated it, any, any sign of what that is. So if we look more at the circuitry here, we've got our microcontroller. There's a capacitor. Other than that, we've got some resistors. One, two, three, four. Well, that's just barely even on there. There's a diode. It's a little six pin chip, but everything is right here. This is the entire control. Now I'm seeing resistors one, two, three, four, five of those little ones, and one, two, three, four of the big ones. So that's nine. We said we had nine rows. So we've got a resistor for each of each of the rows, and we have. Yeah, it looks like we have a resistor for each of the columns as well. 
I, I enjoy this. This is a, uh, I don't know, in my opinion, this is a neat function. Look at that, it's even got an O-ring in there for sealing. But I, I think what I find to be the most interesting part of it is it seems to be somewhat hackable. I mean, depending on what you'd want to use this for. Like I said, it came in, in a basically broken tiki torch. So that wasn't going to be of much use to me. But this, as a candle that you could sit somewhere perhaps outside... It is waterproof. I mean, we would have to worry a little bit about this stuff here, but yeah, I like that. That's kind of neat. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.